Hello. Today we're going to take a look at the same topic and research it in two different library databases so you can experience those differences in their content and layout. The two databases we're looking at are Opposing Viewpoints in Context and CQ Researcher. Both are excellent resources for researching any kind of persuasive or argumentative project. First we're going to take a look at Opposing Viewpoints in Context. Opposing Viewpoints in Context features topics on their homepage and it takes any idea that is debated and organizes it that way. You can search in the search bar at the top or browse through the list of topic pages which is also excellent if you're struggling with deciding what to write about. Let's take a look at immigration. Clicking on the bold word brings you to a topic page. The page begins with an overview essay of the issue, usually with some historical content and the major events that are related to that topic. This introductory essay is really helpful in giving you context for the topic you have chosen and if you want to stay with it. Back to the topic page, you can see how it is divided up into source types. Essays, newspapers, academic journals, statistics, maps, expert opinions, all of it is there on this topic page with a variety of sources for telling stories and relaying evidence. Each item in this database has a citation function as well as email, download, or printing functions depending on what you need. Opposing Viewpoints also links to other topic pages that might be of interest if you want to explore further or take your research in another direction. The other database we use for persuasive and argumentative topics is CQ Researcher. This is excellent for many different topics but especially for those that have any laws or government action associated with them. Similarly to opposing viewpoints, CQ features content on the front and side of their homepage. I see our topic of immigration on the right, but you can also browse issues from the navigation bar at the top. It doesn't list the topics there, but organizes them by subject, so you need to think about where your topic fits within these subjects in the navigation bar. Once you get to your topic page, you will see that CQ gives quite a bit of chronology and content to an issue. They also link back to stories with helps with the evidence you need for gathering for persuasion. These articles hyperlink their footnotes so you can see the original sources being quoted. You can also head up to the issue tracker which has a list of how many different ways this topic has been addressed in the government sphere. There's more content connected to these issues on this list and you can see more chronology here as well and more specific ways that these topics interact. You can see the wealth of content available to you in this database and in Opposing Viewpoints and Context. Hopefully now you feel ready to research your persuasive or argumentative essay, speech, or project. If you have any questions, please remember you can always ask a librarian at any time.